Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Wednesday, March 19th, 2025. I was beginning to wonder if USGS was going to report this magnitude 4.2 earthquake that occurred in um, the Dominican Republic. It took them about two hours to post it. They don't have anyone that said that they did feel it, even though there is reports on Volcano Discovery. Uh, here they said they have one report from the Dominican Republic from Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic. EMSC has it listed as a magnitude 4.0. No reports are being felt. They have revised it to a magnitude 3.7, 116 kilometers in depth, which is about 72 miles. USGS has it um, for 116 kilometers. This earthquake was probably caused by the Enwin Crillo Plantin Garden Fault Zone. It runs as far as Jamaica. It probably accumulates about 50% of all the motion between the North American plate and the Caribbean. And this fault has been linked to uh, quite a few major earthquakes. Let me bring it out. I got some of them posted here. Um, 1770, a 7.5. And we'll follow it down. Let's see. Um, 1692, another 7.5. Um, there's, let's see, 2010, a 7.0. Um, let me bring this out. Let's see, we got an 8.0, or it could have been a 7.6. Um, that was in February of this year, February 8th. A uh, list of historical events include those in 1751, 1770 in Haiti, and others in 1860, 1761, 1684, 1673, and 1618. The 2010 7.0 Haiti earthquake was initially thought to be caused by this fault. But for some reason, uh, the scientists or some scientists said it wasn't. I have to disagree. They say that the 2010 earthquake occurred on a blind thrust fault meaning it was a branch of this fault. Um, but a blind thrust fault is where it's not visible there on the surface of the earth. It's so close. I, I, I don't care if it was a separate fault, but being so close, I'm going to say it still was this fault zone. Only part of the accumulated strain was released in that earthquake. Now they're saying that the 2021 7.280 earthquake which struck the Tiburon Peninsula on August 14th, was directly attributed to this fault zone, causing significant damage. Studies indicate that the 2010 and 2021 event left a 50-kilometer-long unruptured, or 31-mile se section, suggesting an ongoing seismic risk. The 1751 and 1770 earthquake moved 33 meters or 10 feet 10 inches and it was linked to the 18th century earthquakes that came later suggesting a magnitude between a 7.0 and a 7.6. Yeah, there's been a lot of earthquakes. You can see up over here um, 1842 and 8.1 along with a tsunami. That is by the Santa Luis de Noza um, fault zone. Yeah, it, interesting how they say these earthquakes have not released the tension there and it's still capable of producing a very large earthquake. Interesting too that it took two hours for USGS to even report this earthquake. Any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Sending prayers to everyone over there. 
Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, it's the end of the month or close to the end of the month. And YouTube is unsubscribing people once again. You know, so you might want to check with your favorite channels to see if you're still subscribed. Not just me, but other channels. They do it to everybody. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.